Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path, um, not spiritual path, ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career, and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of numbers and like alphabets, right? I'm seeing numerology and i'm seeing the alphabet i'm seeing the periodic table um i'm seeing um the process of a a plant growing right i see a plant just growing i'm seeing it just go through all these phases throughout its growth the sun the moon the air the water right It's like the message is based on the fact that you're not crazy, okay? It's like there is explanations to the identity that is of you. There is, there is things about yourself that you might not understand, but doesn't mean you're crazy or there's something wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with you, okay? Like you're you're fine. You just different in, in how you 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 live in 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 your mind. We have the nine of swords reversed to the sun reversed. It's like the relationship that you have with your mind is very complex, right? It's very complex with the nine of swords reversed, nine of voices reversed. It's easy for you to feel crazy sometimes. It's easy for you to feel like you're going insane sometimes because of the way your mind operates and the way you process information that has to do with life, reality, and the world and your identity, right? But... I keep seeing things. I keep seeing the hieroglyphics. I keep seeing, you know, the movement of the clouds. I keep seeing the evaporation that causes rain. Um, I see seasonal changes or uh, autumn, fall, winter, spring, summer. Um, I see fire. You know, I see the planets orbiting around the sun. With the sun reversed here. As I beloved, there is a neurological advancement advancement that you are tapped into, right? With this muse of inspiration. 
there is a brain chemical balance that no one can understand but you there is brain activity in your mind that only you understand the relationship that you have with your mind is complex because the way you process information in your mind based on what you experience how you feel what you do how you are it's very complex hence the advancement of the neurological brain chemical activity brain chemical alignments it's in your dna okay it's in your dna we have the six of wands six of inspiration here it's like your ancestors those that came before you here um have experienced their own fair share of episodes when it comes to their mind because they had very um advanced thoughts you know the type of thoughts that are out of the ordinary or in sync in 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 tune with a very high vibration a high wavelength a high frequency so there's a way in which you can communicate with the earth there's a way in which you can communicate with the universe okay there's a way in which you can communicate and it's based on your dna it's in your genetics it's in your blood to be the way that you are so it's nothing new under the sun under the moon you are okay you're not crazy there's nothing wrong with who you are how you think there's nothing wrong with your mind. There's nothing wrong with your brain. You're just ahead of your time. You know, we have the eight of swords reversed. So you're being called to get out of this state of being, of feeling like whenever you don't understand what's going on in your mind, something's wrong with you. But you know that you don't understand because you are seeking a certain explanation and answer for what you're experiencing in your brain, in your mind. But just because you seek that explanation and answer, it doesn't mean it'll come or it'll come the way you want or when you want it to. But there is an explanation nonetheless. You're being called to allow yourself to just live. Like don't expect yourself to always know or understand because of the way you are in your mind. You're being called to allow yourself to live. Let's tap in further to the energy. So this message, I feel, is going to be short and not long. Um, it's to enable you to, to stay in your mind, stay in your body, stay in your heart, stay in your spirit by understanding that nothing's wrong with you. You're just advanced. There's just this neurological advancement that is in your mind because of who you are within your DNA and those that came before you, okay? So always take with you every day that understanding that nothing's wrong with you, okay? And also you've been called to understand the world and how the matrix has formulated and programmed and conditioned everyone to think. And when you tap out of the matrix and you tap into your own consciousness of life, not the program conditioned consciousness or... Um, formulated consciousness rather right when you tap into you as you not the voice of the world or the things of the world or what is taught right it takes a little it takes a little bit of time before you can get the hang of things it takes a little bit of time before you can get the hang of things because you're learning your mind 
from a different consciousness, not based on a matrix consciousness. So when you've elevated in your consciousness, allow yourself to flow with the wavelength, flow with the um, frequency, flow with the vibration of your consciousness. Nothing's wrong with you. We have the nine of pentacles reversed. You oftentimes feel like so out of out of the world or out of the ordinary or just you know you you have those times in your life or those phases or chapters of your life where you feel like that but you're being asked to not let that control who you are don't don't let that control your identity it's just like any other relationship it takes time for it to get to a specific point so the relationship you have with your mind it takes time for you to get to a specific point with it because you're still learning your own consciousness You've just tapped into your own consciousness that you need to understand and learn. Not what you are taught, but what you are teaching yourself with what you know and how you understand what you know. We have the four of wands reversed. So it's also very normal for you to feel overwhelmed especially around the times of, of, of your life where you are facing a lot mentally. And at the same time, there's that relationship you're still developing with your own mind, your own understanding of life, and your own consciousness. So with the Eight of Wands reversed, don't be so hard on yourself by allowing or thinking that you need to always be in a, in a specific state of being. If you find yourself in a specific state of being, understand that it's only just temporary as everything else. It'll pass. It'll pass. And when it does, you would have passed the test of your own consciousness, your own mind. Okay, because it's from a dimension that is not of here. So it has its own thing going on. Yeah, and with the two of wands reversed, allow yourself to learn, beloved. Don't feel like you can't make the mistake or you can't do this or you can't do that or there's this, there's that, there's this. No, like you're human at the end of the day. And you didn't choose to be placed under a matrix, under a simulation of your mind. And then having to break yourself out of it and develop a whole new consciousness. And having to reprogram your mind and redefine it. Not based on the conditioning and the formulating of, of, of the consciousness that the matrix has taught to the world. So it's going to take you time to figure your mind out or get a get a hang of it. But it's your mind. It won't you won't lose yourself in it because it's you. You know, you won't lose yourself. There's nothing wrong with you, beloved, okay? If you look at a genius or you look at someone who has a high IQ, they oftentimes face their own episodes with their own mind. There's battles that come and go and when they go that understanding of that battle and understanding of that victory over the battle gets you a specific gets you to a specific point with your consciousness and understanding because you've you are battling your mind but it's not that you're going to lose the battle it's just you need to crack a code that battle is a code that's going to give you some form of key some form of answer a truth a clarity okay so things are not like what they used to be, beloved. Understand that the past is no more. Don't dwell on the way you used to think. Don't dwell on what you used to do because of the way you used to think. Don't dwell on the version of you that was in the matrix. Everyone that makes it out of the matrix must just be grateful they could make it out of the matrix. And when you see people still within the matrix, just have empathy towards them and compassion and understanding of their situation because they didn't choose to be under a simulation or programmed or conditioned. They didn't choose that. That's just what 
they were born into as we all were. And it's up to us to break free from the curse so that we unlock our own keys and codes and understanding and, and answers so that we raise our own vibration, frequency and wavelength so that we have our own consciousness and we understand it. And understanding anything takes learning. So you are learning your mind, okay? But it's yours. You won't lose your mind. You won't lose yourself in your mind. No, nothing like that's ever going to happen to you. Okay? So give yourself the time to learn. As the Matrix programs us with their own teachings and we learn to be programmed and conditioned and, you know, formulated in this simulation, we learn, you know, they ways, oh, this is this, this is that. It's the same experience when you've tapped out of the matrix where you need to learn your own consciousness of your mind. It already exists. You just need to learn it. So it's not on you to, 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 to figure your mind out. You've already figured it out. You just need to learn what you figured out. We have the strength reversed. So it's not like, oh, you need to do something so that your mind can know. Your mind is already what it is. You just need to learn it. So it's that battle. But that battle is for you to be able to unlock your mind and actually progress with your understanding of it. We have the Knights of Wands. It's going to take time. There's going to be tough days. There's going to be bad days. But it's normal. It's a part of life. Even when you were in the matrix, you had the bad days and tough days. It's just a part of life. It has nothing to do with your mind. Something's wrong with your mind because you're having a bad day or bad thoughts. No. You're a human being experiencing life for the first time with the help of your ancestors that are guiding you, putting you in specific positions and aligning you with a specific energy. But it's a first time experience that you need to allow yourself to go through. You're not perfect. You're not meant to be. Life is not meant to be like that. We are just meant to live and experience it for what it is. And then as we do so, we unlock our own identity and individuality in life, in our world, in our reality. Okay? And with the Knights of Pentacles, it will take time. Give yourself time. It's slow moving energy. The Knights of Materials, Knights of Pentacles is slow moving energy. So the pace, the speed, give yourself time. So your frequency, your wavelength, your um, vibration of your mind is yours alone. Right? So you need to understand it through your perspective, right? No one can tell you about your mind. They're not, they don't possess your mind. You can hear things that make you understand your mind further from this and that and this and that of the world, but the world doesn't define or dictate your mind. It just helps you get close to understanding it. So it's not like what you see, what you hear, you must allow it to control you. Just understand it and understand how it impacts you. Yeah, and you're not a sheep. You're not meant to do it how they do it. You're not meant to think how they think. That's the whole point of being out of the matrix. That's the whole point of having a whole new consciousness. As you awaken, as you rise within your enlightenment, as you're illuminated through how you experience life, as you see the synchronicities, as you see the symbols, as you understand the keys and the codes and the answers, as you receive the clarity, allow yourself to learn, allow yourself to experience, and allow yourself to go through it. Don't be so hard on yourself about how it should be, how it should go, what it should be look like no that's not on you you don't control the frequency the wavelength you don't control the vibration 
it's the earth it's the universe and you are just in sync in alignment with a high vibration with a high you know wavelength with a high um frequency Like you way, way up there, you know, and in a world of many asleep or majority, of course, you can feel a little crazy or insane. Sometimes it's a journey of the, the awakened one, right? The chosen one. It's a journey of the enlightened one. Okay. It's our path. It's yours. Embrace it. Nothing's wrong with you. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a person. No. With the weekly sign readings, I said love. I offer love readings and I said spiritual path. I, I didn't mean to say spiritual path. I meant to say ancestral lineage readings. And then I offer we, uh, personal uh, readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.